So I'm going to show you how to do something kind of cool in Rocksmith that most people are completely unaware of. And that is to load default tones into your profile so that if you don't like this tone that the song came with, you can just press a key and change it. And not only can you change to one tone, but you can have the option of three different tones um, that you can choose from to be your default tones for when you decide you don't like the tone that a song came with. So there are external tools that allow you to permanently change the tone in a song. We're not gonna show you that. We're gonna show you how to do something really simple with inside the game without having to download any extra software. And again, the tone is the sound that when you strike your strings, Rocksmith makes. And you'll notice that as you switch between songs, your guitar or your bass will sound different. That's because there's a tone assigned to it. Um, and if you have liked the sound that a particular song made, you can steal that tone and permanently, or at least, you know, semi-permanently, put it into your default tones and for your profile and use that tone as your backup whenever you want. And if you decide you're sick of that tone and you never want to use it again, there is a way to remove that tone from your default tones. We're going to show you where to do all of that. So if, once you, this is profile specific, not song specific. That's, that's something to keep in mind. So once you load your profile, okay, you're going to get to the main menu and you're going to arrow down to tone designer. Go ahead and press enter once tone designer is highlighted tone designer okay when you first go into tone designer it's not immediately going to look like this it's going to give you a little welcome spiel speech i don't remember if that made you hit enter or okay or escape to get out of it or if it just went away do whatever the on-screen instructions say and you'll be taken to this menu um the mint the sub menu you want to go to here you want to arrow up to load tone until it's highlighted blue and then press enter. Now your choice between authentic tone and custom tone. What's the difference? Authentic tone is basically stealing the tone that you like from a song in your library. Custom tone means creating your own tone. And that is a whole other, you know, two hour tutorial. We're not gonna go into that just yet. So let's go ahead and look at authentic tone. It's highlighted blue, arrow to it if it isn't, and hit enter. Okay, so I already had it pre-selected to the last song that I was on. That was good, like better than Ezra. It's kind of a little basic, um, pretty typical bass tone. So let's go now that I got it highlighted, go ahead and hit enter. What comes up after you select the song that you want in your library and press enter is the list of tones that are available within that song. In my case, it only has one bass tone called good dash bass. Um, the song that you selected might have multiple ones. So you want to make sure, and usually they're named after the part or have some sort of descriptor there that help you identify which of the many tones in the song it could be. It could be the bass one. Sometimes there's multiple tones of bass. There's bass, there's bass fuzz, um, bass distortion, guitar, lead, um, some sort of descriptor like that. So I've selected the one tone available in that song. That's the one I want to grab, and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so... Great, now you're back at the menu, nothing happened. Well, something did happen. It loaded the tone, it's now sort of cached it, bookmarked it, however you want to think of it, um, so that way we can do something with it. Well, what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna arrow down to tone assignment, and we're going to hit enter. Okay, so you'll notice um, good dash base is highlighted. And in this case, I already have a bunch of tones loaded. If you look down below, you see two equals it's oh so quiet dash bass, um, and then three is dash bad guy, dash clean, and four is dash good, dash bass. Um, so that means I've preloaded those tones in there. And I basically, you're probably gonna see nothing there, right, because you're starting out. So you're gonna have a chance, a choice, of putting this in slot two, and you do that just by pressing the two button. You put it into slot three, you do that by pressing the three button or putting it into slot four um, by pressing the four button on your keyboard. So I've got, even though it's already there, I'm gonna override it, I'm gonna press four, and this is how you'd replace something you didn't like. I'm gonna press four, right? Assign good dash base to slot four. Well, yes, continue, okay? I'm gonna do that. So you would basically do that, you know, three times in a row. You'd go low tone, authentic tone, Find the song you want. Let's 
go ahead and do that. Oh, that one apparently doesn't have a ton assigned to it at all. Let's do Saturday Night Fever. Okay, so this is a good example of two different tones. We've got Night Fever dash bass and Night Fever dash clean. I'm going to select Night Fever dash bass. So I've loaded that tone. Now let's go to assign it. Okay, so Night Fever selected, and I have a choice between two, three, or four. Well, I already signed something to four, so let's go and put something into three. I'm going to press the three key. Do I want to assign it to three? Yes. Okay, so you basically do that three different times. You go load the tone, select whether you want to authentic or create it, find the song in your song list, then select the tone out of its available tones. That brings you back to this menu. Go down to tone assignment press the number that you want it to go to, right? And you can, like I said, you can over, like you saw me do, you can override a tone if you don't like the one that's selected. So in this case, I have three tones already pre-selected. I have It's Oh So Quiet bass, uh, Night Fever bass, and Good bass. Well, great, I've got them assigned. How do I use them? Let's go ahead and exit all the way out to the main menu. And let's click Learn a Song. Learn a Song. Okay, so now let's just, because the night, I select that song and I start playing it. Now, don't just start hitting your keys just yet. Wait until after the default tone. Right now you can see it showing because the night bass just loaded. Once that goes away, I'm going to stop the song just for the sake of you, know, you hearing me talk. Once that goes away, you can switch between your tones. So the tone that came with it, if I start playing... You know, that's my E string on the default song, tone that came with it. And if I want to load that tone again, because I've switched and I want to get back to it, I just press the one key on my keyboard. That's the default. Now let's say I don't like that tone. I want to try um, and see if the two slot tone, the default two slot tone plays better. So I press the two on my keyboard. So you can hear the difference. It's using a different tone. Say I don't like that tone. Okay, well, I got two more choices. Let's press the three. That's what the night fever tone sounds like. Very similar to the first one. Um, I press the number four key because I don't like either of those three. Sadly, that one's very similar to I probably should have chose something with a lot of reverb to it. Um, but you can see, you know, press the four key, the good bass tone comes up, three key, night fever bass comes up because that's what I chose. Two key, it's oh so quiet, comes up. One key brings me back to the default tone for the song. So that's how you load default tones in there. So that way, if you dislike the tone that your song came with, you can choose from something else. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, not a lot of people know that they can do this. Um, and this is awesome default functionality built right into Rocksmith that you can use to make your playing experience better. Please like, share, and uh, subscribe. All three help us considerably.